Hello, my friends. My name is DadCraft73, and welcome back to another episode of One Man, One Mod, where we're trying to learn everything that we can this season about the Embers Rekindled mod. And let me tell you what, I think we have succeeded amazingly well. That's for sure. I mean, I will never be worried about the uh, Embers mod in any mod pack that I see ever again. Uh, we're going to be down. I'm going to be 100% down. We know how to make cool stuff out of this Aspectus stuff and beam cannons. And we know how to store ma massive quantities of ember. How much do we got in there? 772,000 ember. We know how to ore double. We know how to stamp stuff out. We know how to uh, do alloys and all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, it would be kind of cool, FYI. Um, to use like the the alloy deal. What's this thing called? The mixer centrifuge? Um, like in a mod pack uh, and force you to um, make all your alloys <laughs> through that process. That'd be so painful. I would be so grumpy immediately. Um, it's funny, as a side note, I was looking at Twitter today and Doc M posted something about um, modded Minecraft and he said, at least in his opinion, um, mod packs fall into one of two different categories. Either A, um, they're super overpowered and you can get to the end of the mod pack within like a couple days of playing or a couple hours of playtime. Um, you can be like super overpowered and you can dominate the world. Or um, there are things that are put in place to artificially gate your progression. Right? So Think, for example, of um, Ceftech, for example, right? All the super difficult ways that you have to sort of progress through that pack. And uh, he's not wrong. I'm telling you, that's why I think that Regrowth is literally one of my all-time favorite mods. And the reason behind that, or mod packs, because um, you there was no like grind out all the way to the end and be a superstar in two minutes in that pack. Anyway, let's not worry about that craziness. We have work to do today. I'm going to get rid of this thing. We're out there. Okay. Um, I think actually you just drop those and they break. All right. So today, our final episode, um, episode, I don't know, 19, I think. I think we made a good run. Um, some mod packs are more involved than others. And our goal is never to touch on every single possible thing that we could do. Um, we're just going to try to get as many of them as we can. So today we're going to make the Inferno Forge and try to mess around with some of these attaching modifier things. We do have this crazy pick, right? It's got all the heat cranked up. So if we can at least make this thing and then figure out how to fire it up, that would be amazing. I'd also like to make the hammer this automatic hammer thing just because I think it might look kind of cool maybe we should start with that let's do that first let's get the uh, auto hammer let's see what we need to make that so we need some copper we need a bunch of iron okay let's see hopefully we have some of these things yeah so we need 10 pieces of iron let's get that we're gonna need uh, copper yeah 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 Okay, so let's go and make one of these, like so. Make one of these. By the way, right now, <laughs> in my kitchen, are cinnamon rolls for, made from scratch that are on their final proof. Um, and I'm going to be... What time is it? Oh, yeah, and about... Right around the end of this episode, um, it's going to be time to put those in the oven and bake them. Homemade cinnamon rolls. Uh, yeah, boy. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, so, okay, we need some stairs. Now we need some of these. Oh, let's oh, let's grab these. Okay. Let's see. Do we have any other stairs? There's one. It's kind of a rip-off. Okay. Well, we are gonna need more than this, so we're gonna have to make some more. Let's do this. I mean, it's, what am I worried about? Like saving, <laughs> saving things. One, two, three, four, five. Add to that one. Yeah, that should be good. And then we should be able to go here like this and make this. Then we should be able to go here and make this. Yep. Automatic hammer. Okay. Let's read about it real quick. Nope. Yep. Hammering bits of metal into your tools by hand takes a very long time. With a bit of ember power, you believe that you have a solution. 
Um, Simply requires redstone power and a bit of ember power and will handle the hammering of the Dawnstone Anvil much more forceful, forcefully and faster than you manually could. Okay, so the question is, where do we put this thing? I have a feeling that it goes, like, in the wall. Like this, maybe? Yeah, that makes sense to me. And then what do we need? Do we need a receiver on that bad boy? Do we have one kicking around from all of our craziness? Oh, it's a lantern. Super cool. Yeah, there are some things that I will take away from embers, without a doubt. Um, is there a receiver that we can steal, maybe, around? We're also going to need a lever. We do have a lever in our inventory, so let's go ahead and like bust this out. Like so, maybe we'll put the lever up here. You ever seen those like crazy blacksmith things? They have those power hammers. Man, they're awesome. I love them. And then we just need a receiver. Where can we steal one, maybe, that we have just like kicking around here that maybe we don't need anymore? Oh, like here? Here, maybe? Or here. How about that guy? Okay. All right. So let's go put this thing here. All right, where's our hammer? Now, what do we need to do? We need to take... I don't know. Where can we take take this guy and bind him over here? That to that. Okay. Oh, hey dummy. Is this thing? It doesn't have a built-in. Like that, I think. Okay. Let's throw a little of these in there. Make some of that ember stuff. Okay. All right. Now, what do we do? Let's see. So, Dawnstone anvil. You may be asking the question, hey, Dadcraft, is there going to be a a one-man... Oh, yeah, yeah, let's just try that. Do we have, like, a busted-up tool that we can use? Is there going to be a one-man, one-mod series for January? The answer is no, there will not be. Uh, We're going to get back to some... Uh, vanilla Minecraft, back onto some regrowth, try to finish up those things if we possibly can. Hey, I just need like a busted up tool. Yeah, like this. Okay. And then, so we're going to do that. Um, I have an idea what we're going to put on the patron server though, so don't be, don't be scared. It's going to still be amazing. And then we could go like this. Okay. Okay. Well, that took like one little hit. Okay. <laughs> that was cool. All right, so that works amazingly well. All right, that's cool. We learned how to do that, man. Come on. We're taking care of business. Now, the Inferno Forge, I think, is next. Um, yeah, yeah, we learned about heat already. Detaching modifiers. Sometimes you might want to add augment to a tool or armor and eventually find that it no longer suits you. Augments are not permanent additions, however, and the Dawnstone Anvil can be used can help you deal with that. By placing the tool or armor on the anvil without an item on top and hammering it, you can remove all modifiers for no cost. The core itself and its accumulated heat will always remain on the tool, however, and such tools cannot be destroyed completely. Okay, cool. All right, so the Inferno Forge is what is next. Inferno Forge. All right, this is a little... Man, this is expensive. Okay, an iron plate. We do need a wildfire core. That means we need to make one. I don't think we have learned how to do that yet. Weren't we on the path to make that happen? Yeah, I believe we were. Oh, okay. So this is where we need to go next. We need to go into... Um, wait a minute. Back to here. And we need to make one of these. All right. Now there are, what are all these machines? Combustion chamber, catalyst chamber, let me see. So we burn combustible fuels. Each fuel used has a particular power level, coal. Okay, what does it do? Okay. The Ingnim reactor is a very powerful means of refining ember crystals. It must be placed adjacent to the top 
parts of both a combustion and catalyst chamber. When both the combustion chamber and catalyst chamber are active, the reactor will refine crystalline ember with a multiplier equal to the fuel level and catalyst level of the attached chambers at together plus one. The catalyst level and combustion level must also be fairly close. Okay. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right, I'm sorry, I was just reading some of this. You've discovered a means of synthesizing metal crystal seeds for various metal types through alchemy as well as the ember injector a machine designed to control them. By placing a crystal seed in the world, then placing ember injectors facing it, empowering them with ember, the seed will begin to be fed and grow slowly. At the certain threshold, the seed will let loose several metal nuggets which can be collected. By injecting ember into a seed, not only grows and produces metal, but... Okay, all right. So I think what I really want to do, the ember cluster, however, is a bit too in control for all purposes. While it's suitable for the immolation of items in the combustor or catalyzer, a wildfire core must be re created from it for refined purposes. So I don't think we're going to cover any of this stuff. Um, I sort of feel like we need to. Do we want to not have today be the final episode? I think I think so. I think we are going to do it. Let's just go and make this core. So we do need to make one of these things. The problem is, and I hate, we don't, yeah, we don't know how to make this thing, do we? Let's just make sure. I don't think we made it before. I'm actually 100% sure we didn't. So we need to make one of these wildfire clusters. That means we may have to end up making another one. But I don't think they're too, we have the recipe for that, right? Ember crystal cluster. Ember crystal. Right there. 41 ash piles. Yeah. 41 of each. Okay, so we know how to make one of those again. So that's not that big of a deal. We just need to make one of these wildfire cores. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. And then we can do the other thing. Okay, so core. This is what we need. So we need a copper plate. We need an ember crystal cluster. We need some dawnstone and a motive core. Okay, so I mean we have all those different things. Let's just go get the pieces parts. We have those. We have a copper plate. Let's put some of this stuff away that we no longer need. Okay, we need that. Um, this goes over there. This goes in there. Oh, this goes here. Okay, we got plenty of food. We're in good shape. Um, this also can go in there. Wood items can go in here. Uh, organics can, can go there. Okay. Uh, okay, so to make this thing, we need two Dawnstone ingots, a copper plate, and one of these things. So all we really should need is two of these. One, two. Okay. I think we're going to have to end up making some more Dawnstone. Man, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Let's figure this part out first. So we need those, those, that, and that. Okay, and then we need iron and silver. Okay. So we're going to need a bunch of ash. We're going to need 32 iron. So we need half a stack goes to iron. Okay. And then silver is 24. Okay. 24 goes to silver. All right. This goes in the middle. And then we have to place all the pieces parts. So... This guy here. All right, Dawnstone ingots on either side. Bloop. Well, okay. And then we need this guy here on top. Okay. Then we should be able to fire this beam cannon. And then we wait. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the pieces parts ready <laughs> to make another one of these. We do have gunpowder, so we're okay there. We have a big crystal. Let's go down here and grab... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's easy. And we might as well get some stuff out of the way here. Yeah, that's a failed thing. And the failure says what? 
Five of one, seven of another. Okay, so let's get um, 41, because we know that's the how many that we need. Okay, and we need 41 Dawnstone. Oh, this is where we need the double Dawnstone, don't we? Okay, let's take this out. Put this in here. Get this. Put that in there. And we're going to do 41 here. And we're going to go get 41 again. Okay. And then, what's the story here with this guy? Okay, the big one goes in the middle. Okay, but this guy goes over here. And then we just go one, one, one. And then we fire this thing up. I did that like the last time. What? Whatever. <laughs> oh, whatever. It is what it is. So let's go to make another one of these. Okay, so now we have this failure thing. So we need five more. So if we're making this thing, we need iron. 32 plus five. That's 37. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay. And then for silver... Seven, so it's twenty-four, thirty-one. Okay, silver then is going to get thirty-one. You're going to get 37. This guy is going to go here. And now we need... Dawnstone. A couple Dawnstone ingots. Copper plate. And a motive core. Okay, let's do this thing. Yep, okay. Copper plate goes at the bottom. This guy goes here. This guy goes here. This guy goes in the middle. We do the thing. Okay? Alright. Alright, and then with this, we should be able to make the core, core forge. Inferno Forge. Copper block. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're going to have to make some more Dawnstone. That's okay. Not the end of the world. So, yeah, I may have to... We're actually going to go off camera, probably. Okay, so we got that now. So, we should get this, even though this is this is our last episode. Wood items. Um, we should follow through with our, our original plan here. Uh, which means we should go here. And we should say... Uh, what is this thing called? Wildfire Core? Yep. Okay. Wildfire four. Um, it was thirty-seven iron, thirty-one silver. Okay. All right. Sweet. So now um, I'm short on dawnstone. So I'm gonna have to make some for sure. I have fifteen. I need uh, eighteen. I need twenty. Copper I have. I literally have everything else that I need. I just don't have... Well, I'm going to have to make some more more bricks, but that's okay. Uh, that copper block I think I can make. Copper block I can make. I should have an aluminum or a, a iron... No, I need to make one of those too. Okay, but we can just use 
like the old school way to do that. Let's go ahead and make that guy real quick. Yeah. All right. All right. And then we need a couple bricks, which we can make. One, one, two. Okay. And yeah. And then we can get these guys out of here. So we're going to have to make um, a handful of Dawnstone. So let me go off camera and throw that together real quick. And I'll come back. We'll put together this Inferno Forge. We'll see what the deal is with that. And then we'll see if we can't finish up this series. It's going to be amazing. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I've got, I made 16 pieces of Dawnstone. It's super easy. It's just melting some gold and copper together in that mixer thing over there. So I think we have what we need now. So we need to make two blocks. One, two, yeah. And then we can make the forge, this guy. So we can go click like that, make the Inferno Forge. Now, I don't know what the deal is with this. Let's put it here. Oh, yaha, that's pretty cool looking. Okay, so that's pretty massive. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, put it here, maybe? Oh, man. That thing is cool looking. Okay, so what's the story with this guy? Once the heat bar of an item has filled up, it must be tempered, then supplied with ember power. The Inferno Forge can do just this. Open up the hatch on top. Toss in your heat-filled item, as well as some crystalline ember. The more ember crystal you put in, the more likely you will succeed. Once you level up... Once you level up an item, you grant it a modifier slot. Modif okay. Okay. So... We need some ember. There's not. Okay. So we want to use some of these big ones, I think. How many? Eight? Let's do eight. Hopefully that's enough on this crazy thing. Okay, so the question is, how do I open this? How do I get back up here? Good grief. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 that is super cool. So this and that. Son of Ember, do we need the forge? Okay. All right, hold on. Do I have to actually give it Ember, I guess? Oh my goodness, I don't have a pickaxe now. Oh no. All right, that was dumb. Okay. Uh Okay. <laughs> All right, I need a receiver like right now. All right, I'm going to go take this one. I forgot you can't break stuff. I'm trapped in here forever. Okay. How do I heat this thing up? Where do I put this thing? Okay, now if I go like this. Okay, do I need more like ember ember? Let's try 16 more. stacks of these things. I have a feeling that I'm not doing this the way that it's supposed to be done. Tell me. Okay. 
Just as you use the Dawnstone Anvil to break apart items or repair them, you can also use it to... Okay. I mean, how much ember do I need? I feel like this might not be the way it works. Let's try one more thing. Maybe get a bunch more of that. See if that makes a difference. All right, let's just look real quick at uh, this. This thing is like heat, right? Heated up? Yeah, okay. Okay. Do I have an ember gauge that I can steal? Maybe it's just possible that I haven't just dumped enough in there. Good grief, how much is this stuff? Uh, maybe it's a stack, maybe? That's out of control. Alright, hold on. Let's get a stack of this stuff. Alright. Now. Alright, throw this this in here. Alright, let me do some research. I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we're back. Alright, big surprise. Um, just like this guy here, the, the big thing, <laughs> where we're storing all a like, big battery deal, right? Uh, we need to put one of these little machine accessors on the bottom, and now you can see. Um, by the way, just as another little heads up, um, that mechanic is something I do not enjoy. And it's okay, I guess. But, I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. But anyway, now we're feeding Ember into this thing. We got a bunch stored in here. Yeah, 175,000. And now we're clocking up Ember, which is awesome. And now we should be able to make this thing work. We just can't jump up there anymore because now it's like all jacked up above us. Let's grab a little bit of cobble. Right, and we will pillar up here. We'll open up the forge. Right, we're gonna throw this guy in here, and then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, we're hoping it succeeds. All right, let's go here. Now, does this thing have a modifier slot? I'm thinking no. Okay. Let's try 16 ember. Tank guy? Alright.
Okay, maybe there wasn't enough ember. Okay. Let me go grab... I mean, that's that should be okay. We just need to wait a few minutes. I don't know how much it needs. So there's what... Let's get 2,000 in there and give that a try. See if that's enough. I mean, I sort of want to wait until it gets all filled up. Yum. I'm just getting there. <laughs> I'm down with embers. You know, I was I, I think that a lot of people aren't. One of the one of the guys were saying that they thought maybe that people didn't love embers because there was no like super high end, you know, god armor or anything like that. I mean, technically, you could make it so this stuff right here was pretty you could be almost immune to almost all forms of damage, I bet. With this armor. I mean, this armor is super powerful. I mean, could you imagine being immune to explosions and like I don't know, wither damage and all kinds of crazy stuff, right? Yeah. I bet you can make it happen. Alright, let's go and do this thing again. Wow, it is draining ember super fast. I heard like a cool noise. Modifier? Yes. I think we have a modifier now because we have level one. Okay, now, what modifiers, uh, use, oops, use, this stuff, alright, so this gives us, uh, did that work? I mean, I think it did, right? Oh, we, uh, yeah, we got some back even. Okay, I mean, I, I think this tells me it has a thing. Alright, let's see. So, we want to know what this stuff does. Wind up. Blasting. Blasting core. Fascinating. Ember casting. What does that do? I mean, I'm guessing this means we have a modifier slot. I'm guessing. So we put that on there. All right, let's see. Uh, well, let's get it back real quick. I wish some of this stuff was more intuitive. The blasting core is an augment that creates explosions. When applied to tools, it will break nearby blocks whenever a block is broken with the tool. Then, when applied to weapons, an explosion will occur. Okay, there's the superheater. The superheater is a simple augment that can be applied to items that have accrued heat. When applied, all broken blocks and dropped items from creatures will be cooked automatically, and additional damage will be added to them as it burns targets. The higher the modifier level, the higher the burning damage. It will require accessible... Okay, so the superheater... How do we make the superheater? This guy? Okay, Dawnstone plate. Let's make... Let's see if we can apply this thing. We have the Dawnstone. Okay. And then what do we need? Copper? Okay, so we just need to go here go like so make a dawnstone plate and then we should be able to make then hold on this we already made okay so now if I put this and this now I have super heating okay so now hold on hold on now if I go mining It 
gives me stone. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wonder what the so I'm using ember. So wonder if I do like something crazy like vein mine, a bunch of stone. I guess we can just go right here. No, <laughs> let's uh, change our vein mine thing to like that. Okay, that's cool. And we'll go like this, right? Shift. So that just gave me a bunch of stone, and that's pretty cool, man. I'm down. Now what happens if I do like this? Yeah, it gives me ingots. But we're not getting any ore doubling, so that's not great. But that's just pretty cool. And I would assume like if I hit uh, animals with it, it would give me cooked meat. So yeah, that's awesome. So that's how those modifiers work. Once we figured out that we needed that machine accessor to get up into the, uh, the uh, Inferno Forge, then we were good to go. Oh man, I'm down. See, uh, I think embers could be potentially super... Um, overpowered. Like if you use more of those, like this thing that we have with the fall damage, right, in our cloak, if we made, uh, applied more of those things, I think that, that we could become virtually, like, invincible, I think. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. We ran a little bit longer than usual in this episode, but man, it's the last one. Um, thank you so much for your support and for watching and for hanging out with me this season. I know it's been kind of bumpy with the holidays, but we made it through. We learned as much as we need to about embers to be awesome the next time we see it in a mod pack. So until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my season 13 One Man One Mod series. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. This video and hundreds like it was made through the support of my amazing patrons. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave.